हेलो पीपल वेलकम टू आर चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड डाटा इंटरप्रिटेशन विल कवर दिस टॉपिक इन टू पार्ट्स सो लेट्स बिगिन विद पार्ट वन डाटा इंटरप्रिटेशन डाटा इंटरप्रिटेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिव्यूइंग डाटा थ्रू सम प्री डिफाइंड प्रोसेस विच विल हेल्प असाइन सम मीनिंग टू द डाटा एंड अराइव एट अ रेलिवेंट कंक्लूजन सम ऑफ इट्स टाइप्स आर tables like this pie chart like this bar graph like this and line chart like this first we look into table graph this is our table where these four students secure these marks in four different subjects by using this table we calculate some questions First question is find the ratio of total marks scored by all four students together in English to all total marks scored by all in science. So total marks in English. Which is 60, 75, 55, 60. This is sixty, sixty, one twenty. This is two fifty. And total marks in science: sixty, eighty, ninety-five, sixty-five. Sixty, eighty, ninety-five, and sixty-five. This is three hundred. So ratio of English and science is English ratio science is two fifty ratio three hundred five ratio six. This is our answer. So option C is our answer. Our second question is. Marks scored by Ayushi in Hindi and Maths together is what percentage of the marks scored by Yash and Rahul in Hindi together? So, marks of Ayushi in Hindi and Maths. Ayushi scored sixteen Hindi and sixteen Maths, which is one twenty. And marks scored by Yash and Rahul in Hindi. Yash and Rahul in Hindi. Seventy-five and eighty-five. Yash and Rahul. Seventy-five and eighty-five, which is one sixty. So the percentage is marks scored by Ushi to marks scored by Yash and Rahul. Thirty four two five fifteen seventy five percent. So option D is our correct answer. Next question is total marks scored by Pari are how much more or less than total marks scored by Rahul. So total marks of Pari is. Sixty-five, sixty, eighty, sixty-five, sixty-five, sixty, eighty, and sixty-five, which is 
130, 190, 270. And total marks scored by Rahul. Which is 85, 55. Plus ninety five plus eighty five one eighty two forty is three twenty. So we know Pari scored less marks than Rahul. So So Pari scored fifty marks less than Rahul. So option D is correct. So our next topic is pie chart. This is our pie chart showing expenditure of India in these different sports. So based on this chart, we solve few questions. Number one is expenditure of India on handball is what percent more or less? Then the expenditure of India on tennis and basketball together. We all know that our whole circle is of three sixty degree. So expenditure of India on handball is seventy degree, and on tennis and basketball together is. Tennis and basketball together is thirty and fifty. Which is eighty degree. So handball is less than tennis and basketball. How much? Ten degree. And we need to calculate the Percentage so ten less than eighty into hundred. This is twelve point five percent, which is our option C. Our next question is: If total expenditure of hockey is three seventy five crores, then find the difference of expenditure of handball and tennis. So. Hockey is seventy five degree, and for this seventy five degree expenditure is three seventy five crores. So for one degree expenditure is five crores, and we need to calculate difference between handball and tennis. Handball. Minus tennis handball is seventy and tennis is thirty. Seventy minus thirty, which is forty degree. And if one degree is five crores, then forty degree is forty degree into five crores, which is two hundred crores. This is our answer. So option A is correct. Our next question is: Expenditure of basketball is how much more than that of tennis if total expenditure is two thousand seven hundred crores? These are the options. I want you guys to solve this one so that you can understand whether you get the topic or not. We will cover line graph and bar graph in the next part. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you like it.